I'm Brian Fenko, and I'm currently starring in the North American tour of Memphis, the musical. I grew up in New Jersey. I'm a Jersey boy. And um, in high school, I was in that my sophomore year, I actually lost a bet, and that's why I had to join the drama. And it was a total twist of fate. And then uh, um, I ended up falling in love with it. I started working in New York, just doing the survival gigs. You know, I never waited tables or bartended. That was part of my rule for myself, that I would not become the cliche. But instead, I was a doorman at um, Caroline's on Broadway, the comedy club up there. And I ended up making a lot of great connections up there. I, I guess it would have been a very different life had I, had I won that. And if you listen to the beat and hear what's in your soul I was actually terrified to sing for a long time, for the, even for the first couple years after I lost that bet. I used to tinker on the piano a lot. I was still terrified to sing on stage and it took my choir teacher, Mrs. Hollowell, and she said, I know you can sing, I know you have a voice, so why don't you try that? And I, I think without her pushing, I may never have done it. I was terrified to do it for some reason. I, ju I just finished recording uh, an album, my second album. It's called Simple and Gray, and it's been five years since I recorded my first record. And I just feel like there's a lot more um, truth in this. Both albums, I feel like, were sort of an acceptance of being human. It's very pop-based, very mainstream rock-based. I mean, I grew up listening to Top 40 radio, so, you know, Billy Joel, Bruce Springsteen, Simon and Garfunkel, all those guys, and now, more recently, The Fray, Sarah Bareilles, Thriving Ivory, John Mayer, the people I really look up to. I like doing the part this many times. A lot of people ask if it gets boring, and it can. You have those days you don't want to go to work, and you're tired, and, you know, your voice is hurting, and your body's hurting, and you don't want to get up and do it, but, like, I feel like every time I do it, it's an opportunity to get better at it. Huey is um, a very quirky, uh, odd guy. When you first meet him in the show, he, he's, he's just working in a stock room at a, at a store, but he, he loves um, uh, music. He falls in love with this uh, black R&B singer named Felicia Farrell. He doesn't understand consequences, and I think that that's something I can relate to in, in a lot of ways. I enjoy him for his... It's courage, but it's unintentional. Uh, my parents came to my first show that I was in, and uh, they were right in like the third row. And just seeing them out there after I had seen them, you know, in the third row uh, when I was in my high school, and now when I'm starring in, the, in, in, a, in a Broadway production, you know, taking the final bow at the Schubert stage was, it was a pretty proud moment. If you believe in something, if you believe something's right, you believe something is, is what should happen, you do it, and other people will follow it. Don't, don't necessarily listen when people when people say no. Sometimes no means do, do it anyway. And, um, you know, in this business especially, if, if you let no stop you, well then you weren't meant to be here anyway. All I know is Memphis lives in me. I'm definitely going to check out that show. Yes, it looks like an amazing story. Thanks so much for watching Oh So Cosmo. Don't forget to tweet us at Josie Die and at Wilder Weir. Goodbye. See ya. Nickname. Fink. Playing sports or watching them? Watching them. Oh, comfy PJs or lingerie? Comfy PJs. Naughty or nice? Well, that depends. Calling or texting? Uh, I wish I were a better caller, but texting, I'm way more addicted. Uh, biggest turn on? Uh, straightforwardness. Biggest turn off? Probably the opposite. Um, ph phony. Being phony. Beer or cocktail? Beer. Favorite female body part? I'm, a, I'm addicted to that tummy area. I love that. The whole abdominal region. Blonde or brunette? Oh, I, um, it doesn't matter. Dating deal breaker? Uh, talking about yourself like you're trying to sell yourself to me. I already asked you on the date. All right, we're done.